Hey, I'm Ben Pollock here with Team Lead FTS, and I'm going to talk a little bit today about hook grip and how you can both improve your technique and strengthen your hands to improve your deadlift grip and give you a better position for your pull. So, hook grip is something that I started doing because I tore my bicep uh, before I started powerlifting, tore it doing tire flips, and after that I had a very difficult time both physically and mentally going back to a regular mixed grip, especially because I usually used the hand that I tore as my undergrip. So, I found actually the very first time that I tried hook grip, I was able to get my lats, shoulders in a much better position and my grip itself felt a lot more secure. But I think a lot of times people don't really understand how exactly to position their hands for the hook grip and because of that they don't feel it's either feels very uncomfortable or it feel, feels less secure than maybe it could. So I'm going to show you real quick how I set up for the hook grip um, and then also some problems that I run into when I work up in heavier weights and my grip starts to give out. So the very first thing I do when I walk up to the bar and get set, and I'm not going to go through my whole setup here, but when I get set and grab the bar with a double overhand grip and I kind of tug on it a couple times. What that does is it gets the bar reseated right in kind of the middle of my hand. Now, if you're gripping with a normal mixed grip, you usually want the bar a little bit closer to the pads, your the very base of your fingers. But with the hook grip, I find it's better if you get the bar right in the middle because that gives your thumb, thumb has to go less distance to get around the bar. So I pull a couple times on the bar just to get, just to get my hand seated properly. And then I wrap my thumb around trying to get this portion the portion in between my thumb and my forefinger as deep into the bar as I can. And then I wrap my thumb around. Now I'm not trying to wrap my thumb all the way around the bar. I don't want it like this where my thumb's over here because then when I pull, I'm kind of pulling away. I'm pulling my wrist out of position. Instead, I want my thumb directly between the floor and the bar. So it's right like that. It's almost like you're making a sandwich where your thumb is the meat and your hand and the floor are the bread. And then, after I get set like that, I pull once more just to make sure that I'm firmly seated in my palm like that. And then when I start my pull, I can feel the bar's not moving at all in that position. Now, if you're not in a good position, the bar's gonna roll in your hand even with that hook grip, and you still might be able to hang on to it, but once you get up into heavier weights, the bar's gonna start to move around. You're either gonna tear a little bit of a callus like I did yesterday, or you're just gonna, your grip's gonna give out. It's gonna roll so far away from you that you won't be able to hold onto it at all. And so those are the two major technique things that I think can cause a lot of problems at hook grip unnecessarily. But even, even if you have good technique, I still think it's important to train your arms and your wrists, all your grip strength, because when you're reaching those maximal, maximal um, loads, you don't want to have to think about your grip. If you have to think about your grip, you're not focusing on the other technique cues, like getting your glutes activated, getting your lat set, all those more important things that you need to think about to pull the lift, to finish the lift in a good position, you're not able to think about if you have to focus on squeezing the bar as hard as you can. Once you can make grip kind of second nature, you don't have to worry about those things. You can focus on the more important ones and your lift as a whole will do a lot better.